Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today we're going to look again at the Unify Express and look at some of the questions that people have had. Since I originally released the first video, there has been a lot of questions asking if we could have this as a travel router connecting to a wireless network, if we could do a guest portal with it, if we could do magic site to site, so on and so forth. So we're gonna address that in this video. If you'd like to support my channel, we now have Ubiquity affiliate links that you'll find in the description below, as well as pinned in the comments. This will work for any store, but if you're outside of the US, you will just have to change a store. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at MacTelecomNetworks.com, and I do have a Discord in the link is below. Let's just get this out of the way first. There is no IDS or IPS on the Unify Express. There is DPI, however, traffic identification, country restrictions, and ad blocking. Having all of these on, it doesn't affect your throughput. The Unify Express could still do one gigabit routing even between VLANs. Even without the IDS and the IPS, we could still protect our system. We still have our traffic rules, which we could do pretty well anything with. We could block local networks, we could block websites, we could block social media if we'd like. And we also still have our firewall rules. So if you're looking to block in or VLAN routing, we could also do that within the Unify Express. Now, another question that's come up a lot is if we could use a guest portal with the vouchers and we can. This is still the Unify OS. They're just missing a couple things like the IDS and the IPS. And in the VPNs, we couldn't do the Unify Identity VPN because we could only run Unify Network on this. To create the guest portal, all we need to do is go to Networks and then we're gonna create a new virtual network. I'll call this one Guest. We're gonna deselect Auto Scale. We'll go to Manual. I'll just have it on VLAN 3 and we'll check off Isolation. So when we check off Isolation, this automatically creates firewall rules for us. The devices on the network can't see each other. They can't see anything on the other networks. They really only could go out to the internet. And we could still put our content filtering on if we want for work and our family. Now the guest portal still isn't working. We need to do this with Wi-Fi. So we'll go up to Wi-Fi, we'll create new, I'll call it guest and put a password of test1234. And then we'll drop down and we'll go over to our guest. We'll select manual again. And this time we're gonna go to the hotspot portal. So now we have applied your hotspot portal to this Wi-Fi name. By default, portal guest will be isolated from other guests and network resources, and we're gonna be fine with that, and then we're gonna add the Wi-Fi network. Now to get to the hotspot portal, all we'll do is go back into that Wi-Fi name and click on this hotspot portal link. This is gonna show us our landing page. So this is what the guest will see. We could have a title, we could do a welcome test, a login button, we could select the terms of service, and then we could do our authentication. So we could either do it by Facebook, which I don't think Facebook supports it anymore. We could do it by password, payments, and vouchers. I probably do a whole separate video on the guest captive portal because you would want to have some type of certificate on this. The next question I've been asked a lot, can we use this as a travel router connecting it to the hotel's Wi-Fi network? And you cannot. When I was away in Hawaii, I was using this as a travel router because all the places that I stayed had access to at least one ethernet port. But if you're looking to wirelessly connect this to the internet, that won't work for you. Another thing I've been asked quite a bit is a comparison between the Unify Express and the Unify Dream Router. So the Unify Express has Wi-Fi 6 2x2, whereas the Dream Router has Wi-Fi 6 4x4. For the Dream Router, we could run more than one application. So we could run Unify Network and Unify Protect, or we could run Access, Talk, Identity, or Connect. On Unify Express, we can only run Network. There are no other applications. And then on the UDR, we also have a couple extra ports. So we have a four port managed switch with two that are PoE. The Dream Router though is limited on the internet speeds. So if you're using the Dream Router, you will only get about 700 megabits per second. The Dream Router also does support IDS and IPS. Another question that's been asked a lot is if the Unify Express could work with Site Magic, and it can, and I'll show you here. So we have two Expresses and then we have my Mac Telecom SE. So let's click over on Site Magic. I'm gonna give this one a name of Express and we're gonna select my three consoles. So we'll do the Mac Telecom Express, the Mac Telecom SE, and the Express 2. For Site Magic to work, you need to have at least one console with a public IP, and that's my Mac Telecom SE. So we're gonna select all of these and then we're gonna press add. With Site Magic, we could have up to 10 sites currently. Now we can't have overlapping subnets, but I'm gonna select my default network and my test network on the first Express. And then on my Mac Telecom SE, I'm just gonna select the IoT network for it to be able to reach. 
and the express we're going to use all of them so default test one and test two then we're going to press connect this will build the vpn for us and you'll see it go green eventually now the vpn has been built and we could see the green lights on the side that are saying that we're connected and all of the subnets that we've selected can now communicate and the last thing we're going to do we're just going to read through some of the q a that is on the ubiquity website and i will leave a link to this the first one is how many unified devices does the unify express support when you're adopting it into the device page and we could support up to five connected unify network devices including express units switches and wi-fi access points we also have the section at how many clients could connect to this and it's 60 plus and i would assume that's either wired or wireless per unit so if you have two units you could do 120. I've already spoken about the routing performance and we can get one gigabit per second with DPI on with country restrictions and the ad blocking. And something that's also coming soon is a mount for the Unify Express. So Unify Express is designed to be flexibly placed on any flat surface such as a desk. A magnetic wall mount accessory will be available soon. A few other questions that I've got is does the Unify Express get hot? I don't have a thermal gun to test how hot it gets, but I can still touch it with my hand and it's not burning me. Another thing is if this could be powered by PoE and Chris over at Crosstalk Solutions did a little YouTube short, I'll put a link down below, where he had a PoE splitter and it did work. Now if you have any other questions about the Unify Express, leave it in the comments below and I will reply to you. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Alright, thanks.